Okay, so in this tutorial, I would like to show you how to find all the suspended cards in a deck. Uh, so first of all, the reason you might want to suspend a card or a type of card is there might be some piece of information or a type of information that you don't want to study now, but you do want to study in the future. For instance, maybe you added some cards where you thought it was a good idea to add them, but it turns out that that information just doesn't stick yet. You need to build a foundation elsewhere before that information will stick properly through using Anki. Uh, so, yeah, you might have some suspended cards, and I'm going to show you how to search for them. Because, of course, when you suspend a card, you will remember for a while that it was suspended. But once you've suspended many different cards, you might forget which ones are suspended, which ones are still there in your deck but suspended. Uh, so here I have some sample decks. Let's go into Japanese. And OK, so we've got six sample cards. And four of them are due. One of them is new. This one's due, but it's suspended. Now. Of course, with so few cards and only one suspended card, it's easy to just come into the browser and see which one is suspended. But if you have a deck full of thousands of cards and they're suspended with various dates of being due, then they'll just be distributed throughout a very long list here. So if you want to make this browser show just a list of which cards are sus suspended, you can search is colon suspended or type is colon suspended after deck colon current and you'll see just the suspended cards.